Don't order delivery or takeout. I work in a chain pizza restaurant as a delivery driver. I'm going to tell you what at least my experience has been since this outbreak. Nothing, no change, no new precautions. Chains are doing nothing to combat this virus outside of what's being enforced by law. We all had to do a 10 minute long computer course on hand washing and food safety, basically the same one you take when you first start anywhere but shortened. If we are feeling sick we are expected to be at work unless we have a DRS note, which is impossible to get RN. They will not shut down any stores until someone within a store gets tested positive for it. They are not enforcing any kind of extra safety measures. I personally wear gloves and clean my car between deliveries, as well as wash my hands immediately upon returning. But absolutely not being requested to. That's my own prerogative, and I have co-workers who don't give a single frick, who are not taking these precautions. They are not going contactless unless the costumer requests it. I do not suggest ordering fast food, these corporations only care about money. Not anyone's health. If you have to order food, request contactless, because stores aren't doing that on their own. As a delivery driver, if I come in contact with it at anyone's home, I am going to contaminate my co-workers, in turn bringing it to every neighborhood around town. Of course this is only my experience at one chain, so if you want you can take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I don't get why they are leaving fast food open. But since that's the case. Stay safe. Yeah I don't get it either. Thank you for sharing this. Stay safe. It is ridiculous. I'm currently unemployed, but I cannot imagine how these businesses are not taking precautions. Don't people understand what an essential business is? It sure as hell isn't an Arby's. Face with tears of joy. Pretty much the only safe fast food is frozen food. Want a pizza? Order a frozen one from the grocery store or the gas station, then cook it yourself. Anything else, order grocery delivery. A local restaurant is making family style meals that you cook at home, casserole size pan of chicken pot pie, meatloaf, and more. Pickup is contactless. It's pretty slick and I hope they continue it post corona, it's nice paying $20 for a high end casserole instead of a pizza or fast food. It's the only thing I've ordered since this all started. I just ordered from a pizza place tonight and requested contactless delivery. The guy still handed me the bags, except he stood further away. Face with tears of joy face with tears of joy we weren't even briefed on how to do it. Just handed pamphlets that half the people didn't read. You're supposed to leave it at the door and call. But I'm telling you they don't give a frick. Better off just avoiding ordering delivery altogether. Contact local places, they are more likely to be doing a better job than chain stores. Our local pizza place has a hand sanitizing station as you walk in, the person at the counter asks you to use it. They take your order from a few steps back and ask you to wait in your car. If you walked in they have a couple chairs set up in the back of the restaurant so you can wait. When your food is done the worker calls you to come in and grab it, it's sitting on a table away from the worker. If you order delivery, they ask you to tip when making the order because they are leaving pizza on the porch. Another local place isn't letting customers come in the restaurant at all. They take your order through the cracked door. They hand you food and then immediately sanitize their hands. I would suggest going into the restaurant to pick up your order so you can see firsthand how they are handling the situation and decide if you want to continue to order from them. I did contactless delivery on DoorDash and swear I heard the dasher try my doorknob face with tears of joy I let it slide. I could see myself doing the same thing after a long day. My daughter, 17, worked for a national chain restaurant, franchise based. I took it upon myself to contact the owner via IG. He ignored me at first, so I called him out on it. I told him my concerns, the next day there were a lot of changes. They could wear gloves, new cleaning solution, etc. That next day, they closed down, not even for pickups. Point being, 
contact people. Don't be afraid. Put up the red flags. Yeah people are truly stupid. And then there's the grocery store crowding. No sign of delivery service for symptomatic people in sight.